What's up YouTube? Today we got a quick video for you. I am making a console cover for a Ford Super Duty. In this video, I tried some new things with the camera angle. I tried the GoPro on the forehead method. Half of it is unbearable to watch, so half of it is not in here. I kept all the good angles and all the good shots, but it's kind of a shorter video. I hope you enjoy it. In spite of this video kind of being a uh, train wreck of filming, I think it's entertaining enough to still upload, so it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be unbearable, but these console covers are always super fun to make. So. Buckle your seatbelt in. We're going to go into warp speed on the time lapse and make this super duty cover. So we started out by making a pattern for it on the paper. And then we go to the cutting table and chop this blank out. Then from there, we take it to the computer where we get the artwork ready. This brand is going to be the center point of the piece, so we size it up. Then we're gonna trim it out and tape it down so it doesn't move when we transfer it. And then what we do is we get the leather a little bit damp before we tape it down. And then tracing over the top of it, like I'm doing right here, is going to leave little lines and little imprints of the design. I'm not actually marking on it with the pen, but once you see me pull it up, you can see the design there. Then we start filling in our floral. So sometimes I will start out with kind of the strange places that I think are gonna be hard to get to with the floral, like the two flowers up top and the two flowers down below. Um, I think just capping it off with some nice flowers or little accent pieces or the little leaves or something just to kind of get down in those weird angles and um, shapes ends up working the best for me and then since we aren't really tooling a whole lot all over this what we're going to do is kind of split that space down at the bottom in half and then that way we can kind of come in and do a little bit of a mirror effect i'm not a big fan of you know completely flip-flopping the image you know taking a left side and then flipping it to the right side and having it symmetrical um, some pieces i like it some pieces i don't this particular piece um, if you kind of go with the unsymmetrical way, it kind of ends up looking a little bit more custom and filled out where I've found if you do too symmetrical, it kind of takes away from the fullness of the design. Then from there, we are doing the top portion, which is going to be this kind of woven pattern that seems to have taken off. If anybody has any, oh, little kitty, 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 little kitty. If anybody has an idea for uh, what to call this kind of basket weave tooling style, um, a good name for it, I am all ears because it's like a woven tooling style, but you can't say basket weave because basket weave is basket weave. Um, anyways, we move on. <laughs> we move on to the carving, which is just running that knife along all those um, lines that I want in there. And then we move on to the tooling or the texturing. And that creates depth, as you can see on those letters. They look like they're kind of popping off the surface of the leather. That is because we're running those bevels on those lines. So one side of the line is smashed down while the other side of the line is um, left as it is. So it creates this little bit of a drop shadow or a bevel effect that gives us our depth and dimension of leather tooling. And then we're finishing off some textures up on the top kind of weave part. That was the weave that I'm talking about. It's pretty popular. Um, these days it's taken off in the past couple years. But we're going to move into the staining after once all the tooling is done. For this piece in particular, we did kind of a lot of uh, colors. It's not necessarily colorful, but you'll see here um, we incorporate some black to get those strong bold outlines to pop really hard like that horse is just so strong and powerful and then that border around the outside to fill it in with black kind of gives it like a cohesiveness and then we went in with two separate browns I went with a darker brown um, and then kind of throughout the tooling I went with this lighter brown here I actually really like how this piece turned out color wise um, and then even then, okay, I forgot about that, but I actually went with three shades brown. So there's the dark brown that I'm running right now, which is the same one that I used in the center. And then I used that lighter brown 
for the banner and then the border along the outside, but that uh, mid border along the outside, I did two coats. But then we move on to the staining, which it was pretty hot out that day, so our antique was pretty runny. But I love how it's like coming together at this point. I'm super hyped as I'm filming this, just trying to get it done. Throw a little bit of edge coat, dress the edges so it looks a little bit nicer. And then we are going to sew it onto our uh, backing piece of leather. And this backing piece of leather is what we're going to use to actually install it on the console. As you can see here, hit it with a uh, thousand staples. This was fighting me a little bit on this one, but the lady was there and we installed it into the truck and it looks super nice. So like I said, the filming of this video was kind of botched. Um, the camera angles were crazy. I was on a super strict timeline where like the lady came, I had to like finish it and install it all within like an hour. I was in a weird time crunch. So I didn't get a ton of great footage of it once it was finished. But um, as a consolation, here are some Instagram reels I made with the footage that I did have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time I have a console cover in the shop, I will be shooting it again and trying to get a better video out of this rather than this kind of just like, here, take it, take it. Here's the best I could come up with this time. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to check out other videos on my channel. All kinds of leather stuff, you know, instructionals, you know, craftsman theory, even a little bit of spicy little drama every once in a while. So if it seems like something you would be interested in, shoot me a follow. Other than that, social links down in the description below, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, website, all that good stuff. And until next time, peace out. Ugh!